Ja, ich bin Michael Paitreya, aber wie wir das machen, in der Land of Internet, also in der Mission. Gut. Wir machen es gut hier. Und ich hoffe, dass alle von euch sehr gut machen, in der Land of Internet. Und ich denke, wir werden noch ein anderes Gathering zu machen. As uh, every Saturday we're doing, we have been doing it to this point. And uh, we go right into the question of uh, is anybody new in the audience here with us today? Okay, then uh, I hope all of you hear me very well. If you're having a problem, let us know. And um, we try to adjust ourselves to, to accommodate anybody that needs uh, improvement. Uh, now the next question is the questions. We can go ahead with What's happening in France? No, only, only bad weather, that's all. Uh, with uh, <coughs> éclair, I don't know the English word, but I can't say éclair. There are l'orage in France. There are coupures of courant. There are fires. Thunderstorm. Thunderstorm. Hello, Mesaya. Uh, I'm doing fine, and uh, Ilvara uh, wants to tell uh, about some, uh, I think it's lightning in English. Yeah, most probably it's, uh, it's thunderstorm. It's uh, lightning and rain and dark uh, clouds and uh, looks terrible. But usually it has not much of a damage. I hope that's going to happen. And, uh, so that, that, that's good, we have a good connection there. Any questions? One, two, three. Okay, there's no questions. All right, well, if there's no questions, uh, let us, there's a couple of projects going on in the, in the community, you know. Maybe we can go over them and see, you know, how is that going? Also, congratulations for a new child in the uh, Rappaport family. <laughs> the, it's always nice to hear that children are born. And always, our hope is they're going to join God's troop <laughs> or God's uh, way of uh, life. How is the child doing, Tahira? Is she doing okay? Or is he? She. She. Oh. Oh. Good morning, uh, Matreya and everyone. Thank you for the congratulations. Uh, yes, she's, she's a beautiful child. Uh, she's doing fine. She's doing uh, fine. She's just uh, a beautiful child of God. And we just thank you. Uh, also, on, the, on another note, uh, Shakti is having trouble staying connected. I just, she just called me and I just called her back on the other line. She's having trouble connecting, staying on. So I told her to go completely out of the computer and start up again. So hopefully she'll be able to join us. Yeah. 
You know, it's not like, is Emma there? So I'm like, she, Emma also has a problem. She's in red, right? Huh? Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, Usology that uh, she has a, a hard drive problem or something. And I hope that uh, this problem is going to be resolved. Resolve one of the things we can do during the week or uh, go to the test room. Of course, the test room is not working anymore, but there's another conference in the same row at the test room with the second one in, from the left. That one is still working. So I think it's called um, Light Room or something. You can go and talk to them and people will help you out if you have a problem. Uh, Shakti is not there, huh? I will gonna say, she sent us a gift uh, from a, uh, it, it has a, an older kind of a Jewish box with the, um, uh, with, uh, the Ark of Covenant and the couple of small little people and uh, it's very pretty, very interesting and looks very old and the box itself is kind of like a worn out, you know, box and looks, you know, that it has come from the east somewhere to, to the west. And I was wondering if she knows the history of it. It looks very interesting, you know, box and uh, we uh, were going to ask her that but she's not here. And um, so we leave that some other time, see if she knows, maybe an email and ask her if she knows any history of it. Anyway, how, how is the, and also Tahiras put some ads into the um, newspapers. How many ads did you put, Tahira? Uh, There was a lot of magazines you could put free ads all over the place, and um, now it's not like a, they're not there anymore. So, of course, as I said, the ad is uh, probably the ads are you have to keep putting a name all the time. It's going to be, be repeated over and over and over until it uh, it's catch the people's eye or attention, and so a lot of people, a lot of time you see an ad in a paper, you don't pay any attention to it the first time, second time, the third time, but even you see 10, 15 times eventually, say, oh, okay, what? <laughs> you want to see what it, what it says, and uh, that's the human perception that when sometimes we see something, although it's a kind of a warning or something to us, we say, no, I didn't see it. You know, that's, that's the kind of the way the human mind works. And, but if it's repeated over and over again, eventually it might get that attention. And, and that's why I repeat the great sign so many times. Over and over and over, eventually, you know, many different parts start falling to their places and make sense. So I guess we have to continue putting those ads in the papers. You know, I hope we have the resources one day that we can put ads all over ourselves, and, uh, in magazines, in in newspapers and all that. Also, Shakti was uh, is working on the T-shirt. Uh, apparently, it's coming along very well, and um, hopefully, it's going to be ready in a couple of weeks. She's going to send the design uh, to the mission. Uh, Sounds like she has altered a little bit around, and she's going to put harsh sign both in the front and back around both pictures, uh, Buddha and the uh, and the. Uh, Earth and the website is going to be both again in front and back so it gets more attention so they can go to the website. Talking about Vetlab, you're going to have a new navigation um, applet or, or uh, one of those that you see in the left side of the website that you can go different places in the mission. Uh, we, are, we are testing an applet. I just sent an email to everyone. 
you know, if you, you know, if you get the email, look at them, uh, the pages, and test them, and see, apparently, uh, Ishvara, you know, didn't have any problem, and uh, he made it, he made it beautiful, look very beautiful, that looks beautiful, that color, that orange color that you made that look, and, uh, but, uh, <coughs> Radha sound like had some problem with the, the menu, so we want to know how many other people might have problem with it, and if we can see them or not can see them. It's supposed to be one of the latest uh, technology that they have used. It's a very very useful um, piece of menu. It, uh, it, it stays completely detached from the uh, website, so you can move it around, put it anywhere you want it. If you don't want it, you can just Tell it go away, and if you want it, just go over the. Uh, there's a small place that says, you know, launch the menu. You can put your cursor on it, and just the menu jumps it again back, you know, to the page, so you can use it. So it gives us more um, real estate in the uh, page to to do other things, and that menu is not uh, taking any rooms at all. So we'd like to uh, upgrade with that uh, navigation applet, but if you're having problem with it, with a lot of people, you might think twice about doing it. So if everybody goes and, and then the email I send you, the address is there, how to go to that page and test it. So do it please, and let Ishwara knows, you know what your experience was. All of you gonna receive the email, you know, so you can go look at it. Um, we are having a lot of problem with the website, uh, e-commerce especially, and um, uh, they have had this problem for for a month, month and a half. Actually, a couple of weeks after the uh, e-commerce was uh, uploaded to their website, <coughs> so we are gonna. We eventually reached a point that we had enough of these problems. We are gonna move our website to a new location close to Albuquerque. So we can have a greater access and easier, you know, communication with the people who are going to run our website. So maybe in a couple of weeks from now, we're going to have a, some, you know, some period that website is going to be not as accessible to everyone. So there's a warning there that uh, if you didn't get into it, don't worry. Just try again a couple of hours later or one day later and be able to get into it and probably we put we're gonna put a warning for everybody in the website also that those who visit us would know that it might have been done for a while in a couple of weeks. But the website is supposed to be up and running all the time, twenty four hours a day. That is the beauty of the uh, you know internet. And if you're having a lot of problem and they cannot solve it that doesn't that doesn't look very good. So you, if you go to a website and that e-commerce does not work, after a couple of times you, you know, try, you just give up on them. It just completely, you know, it turns people off very easily. And so hopefully we are going to solve this problem soon. And if anybody knows a good uh, place to host the website and have good experience or know, but know somehow we can improve on these things, of course, your suggestions are always welcome. God always hears your suggestions and uh, consider them. And as I said, uh, God is improvement. God, God is progress. God is to get things, you know, in a better shape where they are. And that is how for humanity is going to progress. If each of them progress a little bit, after we are going to have a progressed earth. So, so be aware of that. What's happening with the thing? And uh, that's all I have to say for the time being, you know. And uh, if you have uh, any questions, go ahead. If you have other things, okay, let's also uh, any other project like going in the mission that I didn't bring it up. Probably rather you are doing some translation. Maybe you can tell us about what you are doing and your tra how is your translation going to French.
because of the problem with the web, I cannot do translation now because my uh, password is not uh, good. I cannot enter on the database. So, uh, so during the, that time, I uh, I check the the new tools with the web pages. I, um, I spend a lot of time to do this instead of translating because now I cannot access to the web. All right. Um, well, maybe. You can just you can do the translation if you have time and and then have the you know uh, and as you do it and when the web is in a good shape then you probably can upload them is is, is that is, can it can can we do it that way do the translation and then upload it later does it make sense. I have not tried this. I don't know if it will work with all the links. I don't know how the links will be uh, functional if I do this. Yeah, uh, if I think yeah, probably Ishwara can help in that is better than I do. If if you have the extension of the uh, uh, front page 2000 on your computer, you actually can. Um, Test the test whatever you're gonna do into the website on your computer, and if everything works, just upload it to the website. It should work. Is that correct? If you have the um, extension of the front page 2000, you can do that. Uh, me, I don't know because I, I do not have the front page. I uh, work with uh, Word 2000. It's good for the, the editing with Word, but I don't have the uh, front page. Yeah, uh, Ishwara, if, uh, is that correct? If you have the extension of the front page, you can test the website on your computer? I'm not sure, but I, uh, okay. I don't know exactly how it works with the front page extension. I know how it works with ASP pages, but with uh, front page, I don't know exactly. Uh, we, we had uh, a lot of uh, trouble, what I mean, about, uh, about the translation because um, uh, uh, first time, uh, at first, I, I uh, send the pages to Ada, to Ada, and after that, uh, put them uh, again in the website. And uh, the result was not good because the uh, mm. format had been uh, modified, and that was not good. The best way is that Ada uh, uh, directly uh, changed the pages uh, in the website. Interesting. Yes. And you don't know what's happening, huh? But the problem now is that I cannot access to the to the website, the database, because my uh, password is uh, not, not, not activated. Okay, well, sounds like it's, we are having a lot of problem with the website and then time to go somewhere else, you know, but that, that, that's one of the things in, in the beginning when, you know, for example, we need a, a stream video, so they have to pay for them to set it up, it's one-time payment, you know, we, we need a, a secure you know, connection, we, we have to pay for it for time. After this one-time payments are done, you know, they have no motivation to help us a lot. And uh, that is really a big problem. It's every web host we go after a while. Um, they, they have other uh, customers that they can make more money out of them. And you know how it works. If they don't, they don't make too much money out of you, they don't pay any attention to you. <laughs> and uh, so it's, uh, it's really the solution is eventually we should have our own website and our own server for the mission and somebody that really is good at it and be at the top of it all the time and do, we can have even live, um, you know, broadcasts if we had our own 
uh, website and the uh, server. So really the solution, the problem is no matter where we go after they, they had all those uh, first one-time payment is paid to them, you know, they have not much of a motivation to, to take care of you very much and especially we are a small, you know, you know we really we compare with the big companies that they host, you know, we are pretty small, you know, um, operation for them. So again, they don't, they don't care too much to, to, to be motivated to help us, especially the way we do it. You know, we, we, we use our own database, we, we use our own certificate, and so we are not giving them the, the, the way they make more their, their money by renting them to you and, you know, charge you every month. So it's a kind of a, a struggle and we're never going to get it right until we have our own server, our own connection to the internet directly and um, well that's not, that's long way to from now because you know. it's, it's a lot of work, somebody has to be at the top of it all the time and know what they're doing. Okay well so that's another reason we move on and go to another you know, provider. It's going to be a lot of work to do that. It's going to be another another expense because again we have to pay for the you know a streaming video and the, I don't know if you have to pay or not. It depends you know on the server. So we sound like the decision more and more is toward moving the website to a new place. Okay. Anything else there? in the land of uh, uh, communes of light or cyber community that you want to bring it up. Of course, uh, Ishwara is doing a fantastic job with the website and the work he's doing. Of course, he knows God is doing it, but uh, you know, he's, he's very good. I'm impressed with the, the way he understands the you know, programs and, and getting them done. Actually, I'm almost out of it completely. You know, once in a while I help, but uh, he is uh, doing the website and getting in touch with the, you know, company who runs it and files the problem and they solve them together and all that. So I'm almost out of the website. Uh, and uh, thanks God for the work that uh, has been done through him. So that's the one project is going very well in mission and the uh, other project I don't uh, is Shakti in? Do, is he? No, she's gone. She's gone again? She's here. She's okay. Okay, then I don't have much to say about the uh, mission. Is there anything else we should discuss? Just about Sunday's. Any of you guys going to come over to see the mission or come and visit us? Uh, yes, Nikhaya, maybe uh, I will uh, look for a plane ticket. If I can find something interesting, I would like to go for the next thing. All right, great. That sounds good. We all Love to have everybody, anybody who can make it for the fees. Of course, you know, with the web, with the disconnection, we we probably not much of a, you know, we're connected anyway. But that's great. You are welcome to come. Sure. Okay, we got one person for the fees here. We're gonna have uh, fun, and uh, we can see the new center. See how we like it, and. Uh, Okay, there's one person. Anybody else coming? Uh, Trey, I would love to come. Um, is there a better time or a certain time that that the mission would prefer for us to come? I mean, is there um, you know, certain months? 
May, June, July, August, at a certain weekend or day, uh, well, if I, if I were you, you guys, I would have planned to come here when the garden is good around here. Because <laughs> Saraji planted another garden around Saraji and Ma and Kyosha, all working. Especially Saraji and Ma, <laughs> Kyosha also, working with the uh, garden and uh, helping out. And the community is actually getting to feel better and better here. And everybody is... Uh, putting roots down and, and feeling a part of the community and helping and feeling being at home and uh, that is how the community should feel. Everybody should feel they're wonderful in the community. They, they love to be here and they like to help out and make it a fantastic place for everybody to live. But um, I would I would plan to come here when the vegetables are in a good shape. But uh, of course I'm just kidding. But, uh, I don't think there is a special time that's good for us, is there? Usually, we mostly are here, and um, of course, uh, you know, sometimes we might go for a travel, a small, tr short travel, you know, because it's Isis uh, vacation. Sometimes we go to the mountain, you know, just get him some uh, experience of different places, or go see, um, you know. Grand Canyon or places like these is mostly for him to have an experience of travel and, and camping and you know, being in a, a different wonderful places that they have close by to see. And if we are not doing that, we are usually here, so it doesn't make that much of a difference. And uh, we are going to continue our life here and you can come and join us and experience the community. So. I guess the answer is anytime July, August, September, it's fine. You guys can come and visit us. Okay, that's great. So, we look forward to see both of you here. Shakti here. Okay, Shakti, are you there? Can you hear me, Shakti? Uh, yes, Matreya, I can hear you very well now. I've had to get out of uh, online and shut my computer down. I'm having problems with my server. Um, you, you, you sound very good to us. Can, we can hear you very well. I just had a question about the gift, uh, that uh, box you sent us about uh, mm, this um, Ark of Covenant and all those that. I was wondering if you know anything about the box. Um, my mother-in-law, Jesse, um, someone in our family is in, into antiques and uh, estate sales. And she found this in a, um, an old house many, many years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess the people had died and she found it. And uh, what they think, uh, Jesse showed it to a rabbi, and he thinks that it possibly was used for teaching. Possibly someone was hiding from the Nazis um, and trying to teach. So far, that's uh, all we know. We think it's pretty old, mm -hmm. um, but the box itself looks like it might be made of plywood, so the box might be newer and the, in, the internal things might be older, so we're not sure. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, yeah, the, the whole thing looks so old and, and handmade and, and very pretty, very nice. Okay, well, we're going to keep it around here and uh, when we want to build the temple, of course, you know, we, we, as we said, if anybody has something valuable, they want to donate it to the temple. Uh, we have a lot of jewelry has been uh, donated to the for, to our, the temple that we keep it in a uh, safety box in in the bank. That eventually, when the time came and we had enough resources to build the temple, it might help out, and um, we can sell them out and use them to buy the land and you know and build the temple. But we will keep the box. Uh, I hope, you know, it sounds like if we get a lot of things like that, pretty soon we have to get a, a storage room or something to <laughs> store them somewhere. 
and, but we have room right now to keep them, to you know, up them. But that looks very nice, very pretty. I just wanted to know if anybody knows the history. It sounds like Easter. It sounds like it is made in East. I'm not sure. Um, but it sounds like it could be even from Israel or, or somewhere else, somewhere in that area. And also, can you tell us a little bit about the uh, T-shirt that you're making? Uh, you have changed the design, right, a little bit? Um, I think the, the design is the way that you had um, specified with the um, Maitreya Buddha on the front, um, the Haryom, the Harshma mantra will be kind of arced on each side um, and uh, on the back the one world, one humanity under one God. Um, the graphic artist is concerned she wants to make sure it is balanced right with the writing and everything. So I think it's going to look good and, and we went with the two colors because, uh, you know, I, I wanted to make sure it, it represent the mission well with the two colors and I know that you like to have the Buddha in orange so um, I think it's going to look nice Matre. That's good, that's very good. Uh, mm. Yeah, we actually the design was, uh, I, I don't think you were here or you had a problem with your system the, the time we discussed it. I think the design came from the brainstorming from the whole uh, people in the community in the cyber uh, community, so so that design is a brainstorm of everybody here, and uh, so it's uh, I think the good ideas came out of that that talk we had about the design, and I think it's going to be very nice. So the color is going to be orange and blue on the white uh, T-shirt. This is going to represent the colors of the mission. Very good, very nice. Okay, anything else anybody wants to discuss, go ahead. We have another hour and 20 minutes. We can meditate, we can, you know, answer questions or bring new topics into discussions. I don't think there is anything else that we, that cover, did we? All right. Then I'll wait for you guys. your question in just a minute. Uh, we're trying to see if something is... You see the connection with the back of the head? Is that on at all? Yeah. Yes, it's not. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, that connection in the back should be... The one is that probably is not... Okay. That's okay. All right. Yeah, uh, okay, so, so you, you are trying to get a, a, a column or something in that magazine for uh, uh, questions and answers in, in the, our sad songs. Is, is, am, I, am I understanding correct? Because I couldn't hear you very well. Uh, yes, Matreya, that's, that's correct. I was asking if she would like to run one column as one of the, the old sad things, question and your answer, and then follow up with inviting the, um, the people 
that we've been asking to send in questions to you and you could reply. Sure, that would be, that sounds great. That sounds very good. Anything that you know promotes the mission and, and gets the word out and the answers of the people are the questions are answered. Uh, I think we have good answers here for a lot of things in the mission and uh, why not sharing with everybody out there and uh, that would be great, sure. If anybody else has an objection to it or anything that you guys to add to everyone that you should be receiving it with me. Um, and I sent uh, the mission, the, the magazine itself, and I will send the magazine to each of you uh, just as soon as I get uh, the rest of them and get them out to you. But I, I did send to the mission the copy of the magazine uh, itself so you'll be able to see it. Yeah, we will we'll look forward to, to get the magazine and look at it. Sounds like a good job there, and, um, and they're all okay. They're just fine, I think you're doing. If somebody have any suggestion to improve it or anything, go ahead. Any decisions in the mission, uh, they're always open for you no know, improvement and suggestion from everybody in the mission, if, if you have one. Good. Well, while we are in the um, putting ad for the uh, conference room, probably it's a good time to discuss this. Uh, I will not put that at the end of the um, conference, uh, but uh, probably we are going to change the uh, timing of the conference to once a month and stuff every week. Um, so, like the uh, well, the conference mostly was to be in touch with everybody in the mission. And so we have kind of a connection together. And if there's any question to be answered, if there are any uh, problems to be resolved and discussed here. And uh, <clears throat> of course, the most important was to um, talk to the new people who come to the conference and they like to talk to us. Of course, not very many people, new people come to the conference room and we are all ourselves. Uh, Sound like most of the question is being answered, not very many questions left. And uh, we come every Saturday with not very many questions are asked or, or remaining. And uh, and also the people who are new or come to the uh, conference room it sound like a um, familiarity. What's it called? Greed content. <laughs> yeah, greed content or something. Content. Content. And uh, sometimes they don't, they are so uh, away from the mission, they don't even understand what they're talking about, or uh, they come here and uh, they're looking for a specific uh, support or answer. 
or miracles or experience and they do not receive it and therefore they you know they don't come and some people that even not in the conference room they join the mission and they manifest great things you know without even being you know in touch with us directly so all in all it sounds like the energy of the conference that started it's the it doesn't have that original energy that we uh, started the conferences to go on. And also summer is coming, probably most of the people are going to go for vacations and, and activities and probably very hard to get everybody to be here in this period. And also coming here every weekend and uh, not having much to say. And, you know, just uh, there's not that, that kind of energy that should be there and move the comfort. So, um, if you want to put the ad in the newspaper, probably we should uh, put once a month, the first week, the first Saturday of the of the month. Uh, I'll be here, and uh, we can discuss things. So, because every week. Probably it's becoming kind of a routine anymore. It's not doesn't have that excitement that it, one. I don't know. That's how my feeling is. It's kind of a we have to be here, so we come here and uh, together. And uh, so, what do everybody think about this new format? Because I'm not gonna agree with you. <laughs> So the suggestion is that we have the sat satsangs or, or gathering here the first of Saturday of every month instead of every week. I think that's that. That is where we to go. Uh, every first Saturday every month, we're going to have this conference room. I'm wondering if eventually we'll we'll decide that maybe. For Saturday conference, it would be nice to keep it um, mostly satsang and really, you know, keeping it holy, the Sabbath, and, and going along with that and keeping it about, talking about God, and, and maybe another day during the month, we'll have a conference for business activities and things like that. Maybe it might be, um, maybe we don't need that now, but eventually we might decide that that would be appropriate. You're yeah, keeping it the godly and, and, and sad song way. I feel that there are a lot of materials that everybody can read them. Okay, they can relate to them, they can they can contemplate on them. And uh, Saturdays was supposed to be that everybody who reads this thing during the week and become familiar might encounter questions or a problem with it. So bring it here so we can discuss it and, and, and clear it up. Because I feel that I have, I have covered every possible topics that there could be. Is there anything that we haven't talked about? Anything that hasn't been covered that God has answered them? I can't think of anything. You know, so. I can come here Saturdays and and, and, and explain Do again or, or the great sign or think about the different thing happening in, and, and talk about it and make it kind of a I feel it's gonna become like a church mm -hmm. that, that the preacher have to come every week and go to the podium and then and talk about the topic in the Bible or, or 
verses and all that. And I don't think that is the that is the goal of the mission. The goal of the mission is to you know create people that they themselves become preachers and reach to the people and um, teach. And so, um, so it's really I want to put the responsibility on you, everybody in the mission. That you are the you are responsible to go and find the questions and 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 find the possibility of anybody might come with any problem in the future with Doe and our teaching and then bring it up and we can discuss it together and make it a sad song really. Otherwise I have given enough sad song. I have given the thousands and hundreds of sad songs have been given and um, I don't want to become a kind of a church kind of environment or the kind of a, a place that people, you know, feel responsibility on it, and they become um, preachers or teachers themselves. So um, the only way we can make the, the sad songs more related to the mission and God is for you guys have questions, and I don't want you to just make up questions because I said that. <laughs> I mean, you read it, read Thor, read Golden Keys, read, uh, you know, many different things. And if you don't agree with my answers, that's great. You can discuss things and come with some agreement about the, you know, answers that is in Thor and is in our sense. So, so what is your expectations? That's my expectation. What is your expectation when you come to the conference room? I'd like to hear your thoughts. Um, it shocked me, Matreya. I think um, the first thought that came to my mind is what my expectation when I come to the conference is um, to be one and to, to be with God. Okay, that's a good expectation. Well, again, to me, God is God is everything. You know, even business of the mission is God. It's a part of God. When we give deep sad songs, it's it's a, it's a part of God. When 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 we when we meditate together, it's a part of God. So all of them can be can be godly and, and, and look look into. Some people sound like if they don't have a big words or really a nice code code or or uh, something that tell them you know, just feel wow. It's not from God or anything else. But uh, as I, I wrote to Tahura, even a smile of a child is a manifestation of God. Even his cry or her cry is a manifestation of God. But we can, so we can become one with God no matter where we are, or what we do, or where what is going on. Now. So, so that's one. That's a good expectation. Okay, go ahead. Anybody else can tell us what do they expect when they come to the satsang? For me, it's a, it's a way to be together, the, the spiritual family, and to, uh, to, to be resourced, to, have a, to go to the source. It's about the same thing as Shakti. To go to the source. To get to okay, that's good. Sharing of, of 
the faith virtue and uh, the, the community of, of one another, the, uh, the whole time that we are together on the website is, uh, it is an extreme blessing. Uh, so we just thank for that and, and we uh, keep going according to the evolving of, uh, of, of life and changes and uh, whatever uh, comes that we, that we uh, that we're a part of. All right, good, okay, and, uh, and you are enjoying it then, uh, being here and uh, connected, okay. Anybody else? Well, this one is what I was thinking. Um, I was thinking that maybe one reason why there's not too many new people that come is that um, it just seems too difficult. So what I was thinking is if we could in the next newsletter um, put an announcement that my tree is going to be you know, on the conference room and put a specific date and then have um, instructions, you know, number one, number two, number three, exactly how people can get to the conference room and maybe it would help people because maybe they look at it and it just might seem a little bit too difficult and that's why a lot of people don't come. Um, I would like to see the Saturday conferences with a lot of people that come and the great sign gets explained again and again and again and again. You know, mm -hmm. That's what I would like to see the conference room used for mm -hmm. and, in terms of Saturdays. You know. So I was thinking the next newsletter, you know, if we could put the announcement of, of when the conference is going to be and we can send it to all the people who are on our mailing list and also have exact instructions on how they can get to the conference room, then maybe, maybe we get more people to come. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, more, it's difficult to get here because of the computer and... Yeah, a lot of people are not, don't, they don't feel very computer savvy and, you know, they go to AOL because it's just very easy to see. Yeah. Right. And actually they're, they're making machines now that they're made for uh, internet. That's the only thing it does. Mm -hmm. Just connect to internet, and it's very easy to you know send voice email and talking the tele. Even they make making telephones now. It's especially more made for the internet, and, and probably make it even easier to get in touch with the conference room. Then set up your own computer and all that. So, so some of these things are coming up and becoming easier and easier. And actually, telephone is becoming kind of obsolete. Pretty soon they don't need telephone anymore because people are going to talk each other over the internet all over the world. Mm -hmm. So it's going to make it easier and easier as we go on. But we have to decide what is the best way to spread this mission, the word, and and get this mission going. And the word goes in every corner of the world, and uh, we can you know, get as many people to hear this word as possible. Uh, before we leave this earth, mm -hmm. okay. so that's wonderful. And that's that is my concern and my goal mm -hmm. to get this mission moving and going, and, and eventually, you know, create the kingdom of heaven on earth. And um, so that is the way I look at it. And uh, sometimes I feel the conference is getting the point; it's not doing that job. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that is probably something that. You know, I feel the energy is not there because the goal that I was thinking about probably it it brought us closer. There's no doubt about that. The missions the members they, they are more in touch with each other. We share more, and everybody is more updated to the mission what we are doing, and uh, a lot of help has been given to the to the mission since the conference has been created. But what is the next project? What can we do together? How can we use this conference room to promote mm -hmm. the mission farther? And um, that's why I wanted to make it like a big announcement on the newsletter. Mm -hmm. You know, at least we could send it to the people who are. Sure, sure. That, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
They should. And maybe, Matreya, this conference is even a thing of the future that started now. Because um, when we first started this conference, I had a dream. We were in this big auditorium with this big screen and everything, and there was it was not very many people, but there was room for lots and lots of people. And so maybe there's going to be a point where it'll just, you know, um, take off, just like the mission. Very good. Yeah, that is very good. Very good realization. Actually, uh, one good thing came out of this was all of you guys became computer savvy. <laughs> At least you know how to get the microphone and the and the you know, card and, and all this going together and, and use the internet and talk to each other and be in touch. And that's another thing I'd like to see this conference do, to see the members are becoming closer to each other and cooperate with one another and work with each other as a family and a community. So you can become more effective and loving to one another. So we love one another as I love you. That's been said a long time ago. I'd like to see that one also happen. So, okay. so probably, I, I guess I, I'm, I'm very task-oriented and very um, progress-oriented. If, if something gets a point that I don't see, it's not progressing anymore, it's, it's, it's kind of, a, to me, it's a stop. And I want to take it to the next step, the next push. You know, maybe that's why I'm with myself. I push myself in every stage. When when my life gets stalled, I feel bored. I feel you know something is has to push to a next level. And it is was a good beginning. What is the next level? Where we're going from here? I always want to go to the next step, next progress. But that's a good idea, put it in the newsletter and, and all that. Yeah, I could see like the Saturday satsang conferences being a, a time to introduce the mission and talk about the great sign and talk about the relations. And other, other times being like staff meetings where people who really want to work, you know, with with things with the mission could could get together and discuss things. So, so you're suggesting to this, to separate the business part and the spiritual part of the conference. I don't know. It's a good idea. It's a it's suggestion. A suggestion. Yeah. So anybody have any ideas? Uh, I agree, Sarah, with what you're saying with uh, separating it. Um, I agree with that wholeheartedly and also that it is a little difficult for people to get on the conference, so I'm agreeable. The same for me, I agree with that. I wonder if when we have these business things to take care of, if we couldn't make a, an arrangement where we wouldn't have to use the phone and we could come in on the conference room and talk these things over whenever that's appropriate. It doesn't have to be on Saturday, it can be any time. Mm -hmm. Also, I wonder if these conferences haven't made us um, aware of some of what can be done in a very limited way via the internet. Um, and that at this point we're probably all being given the ball to reach out from where we are uh, put ads in magazines, do whatever is necessary to draw to us um, the people who want this. And then when that happens, then bringing those people into the conference. And once a month is enough until that really starts moving. Um, and especially, like you say, during the summer when people are moving around, mm -hmm. they're traveling. And most of them don't have desktops that they know how to um, enter a conference room with a desktop. Uh, they're not that computer savvy yet, but it's coming. And uh, this is helping us to learn to move with the new uh, things that are coming up in the Internet. They're coming up so fast that it's pretty hard to keep up with them. But um, maybe that's what we're called to do. Mm -hmm. and, and to reach out and, and do all these things at the same time and then come together 
in conference and have something to say and have something to have a sap song about. Yeah, that, 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 that is the point that coming here to have something to say and communicate and feel that it's, the, the energy flowing and uh, it's good to come and meditate but it's also better to, to come and, and progress together. Of course, the, the, this uh, format of having one month, we're going to re-evaluate it in September again, okay? And we're going to have it only for the summer. And in September, or after the feast, or before the feast, we probably can discuss it again. And if we decided, oh, okay, no, we want to do it every week again, we go back to it. Like, just let's experiment it for a month mm -hmm. to see how the energy works for the summer. And then again in the in, in September we, we discuss it. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Um, I may be the only one, but I I like hearing the news of the mission. Um, sometimes I don't know some of the things that you bring up, even though I'm here at the mission. And so it's nice hearing what everybody's doing. Um, I must admit I like when it doesn't take a long, long period of time. But I do enjoy hearing that and knowing everybody's hearing that together. Mm -hmm. So. So that is why I share it with everyone because not everybody is at the top of the news of the mission and and so everybody knows that we are doing something and at the same time know you know who does what and and if they can help or suggest something they can jump in. Right, and that's why I do think it, you know we we don't want to get rid of that part, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure if Saturday satsang when there's new people if that's appropriate to talk about the, those kinds of things because it does change the energy when we're talking about the great sign and it's. You know, it's very, very um, inspiring. And then when we go to more business things, the, the energy changes a little bit. And I don't know if it affects new people that have come. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to say, remember, it says that every eye shall see him and every ear shall hear him. And the, um, the internet conferences, to me, is the fulfillment of that prophecy, where every every ear can hear him on the internet, and eventually everybody will be able to see him during these conferences. As I, could, as, as I said, if we had our own uh, server, we can actually broadcast uh, live to internet, and thousand people can just pick it up and, and, and look at it. Okay, well, um, as, as uh, you know in the mission, if you bring a problem, you have to have the solution for it. <laughs> and um, at least somebody should have the solution for it. Okay, we don't, okay, it sounds like we want the news and what's happening in the mission to be broadcast and, and discussed, but we don't want to do it in Saturdays. It's an idea. Yeah, but people like to hear what is happening. Mm -hmm. okay. So what's the solution? Well, um, when I first brought this up, it was kind of like, maybe we will notice that only having a satsang once a month doesn't actually even give enough time to talk about business. So maybe we'll notice that we need another, another time to connect. Now, if, if in a month, there aren't new people or a lot of questions to discuss, once a month will be adequate and we can continue to discuss the, the business. But if we notice that once a month, you know, is filled up completely with talking about the great sign and explaining it to new people, and then we will need another maybe time. another time. Could be like a Friday night, the night before, Saturday satsang once a month. Could be in the middle of the month. You know, sometime during the week, we could set up another time to connect. Mm -hmm. Well, that then that was another time that people have to come to the that to the satsang or to the information time, mm -hmm. and it goes just like uh, our other time period that not everybody come, mm -hmm. and the only time I find that everybody is here mm -hmm. is. <laughs> That's why let's see. Let's yeah, see it's it. a Saturday time, yeah. So let's try sure. it for a, for a little while. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see and uh, that's why I, sh I shared the news with everybody. Right. Right. And not only I shared, my, my idea also was some input. Mm -hmm. 
because I find you know it's uh, it's very helpful sometimes when you share you know decision making process with everybody, and a lot of people come up with the good, fantastic ideas, and I didn't think about it before, and and it helps. So it's kind of a, all of you are helping the mission you know together, and it's also bring the unity and closeness to everybody, and they feel also they're part of the process of doing it. Well, here's another idea. Okay. We could um, say that the first Saturday of every month is an open satsang for, for everyone to come mm -hmm. and invite new people, and that's when the great sign is explained and questions can be answered. And then maybe the third Saturday of every month, we connect, and it's for um, the members. initiatives, or, yeah, or the members, or staffs, or, or, or closer to... It's, it's an, another idea. All right. Well, that's idea is in the floor. Anybody have any? But I don't think we're there yet. I mean, but if we did that, it'd be short, just for the news, or? Uh, it'd probably end up being again 10 to 12, probably. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, regard to what was said previously, about creating interest in our area and having people come to our uh, our homes or uh, to um, talk about Maitreya, learn about the uh, plan on Earth. Um, be nice to try to create centers in our areas. Mm -hmm. I think we do have centers in, in areas. Uh, I think. Radha has her home open, and you have your home, and uh, Tahira and Emma have their places open to people, and uh, Ishwara in France, you know, uh, has her, his place open to everybody. Uh, but the problem has been somehow um, you know, attracting people to come. That, that is, you know, that's very strange. Having such a fantastic you know, revelation, and uh, we are not being able to, you know, bring more people to come and join the mission. In one end, it's strange; in another end, really, it's not because there's going to be a silent time, and you know, in that period, not very many people affected. Another one, the Maya is getting much stronger. You know, he's fighting back, and uh, it's a. Uh, um, People are interested in a lot of other things that it's getting more and more, you know, the music, the music, the, uh, uh, the stock market, the television, radio, uh, cable, do name it, they're trying to get the people not to get to, to the mission, but being attracted to those things. I don't know if this is true, but somebody told me that the ice at the poles is starting to melt. Maybe we're at in for another flood pretty soon from the way things are going. Uh, Sarah is telling me many times that uh, she feels that they have to hit the bottom before they turn around and, and, and want something like this. So, uh, in a way that they, they, even people in the mission might be even get attracted to such a attractive thing that is going on on Earth. And, and Maya is getting that does remind me of a story my mother used to say that uh, at the end time um, there's going to be a, um, they call it Khal Dajjal, means a donkey named called Dajjal. Okay, I don't know what the, the story is. This, this donkey comes and um, he, he spreads or the Let's call it the. Yes, it's manure. It looks like it's a, actually it is a dates, very delicious dates. Wow. Okay, it's when you go to the bathroom and stuff, and and everybody starts following. It's it, it's so delicious that everybody is is it's a start following that donkey and and absolutely they forget about God and and and. And that is the end time is, and uh, this attractions that has been coming to humanity, and they are having. Do name it. They have K 
cable, you can have 180 channels. Mm -hmm. And no matter what you're interested in, there is something there you, you would, even if you're interested in science, there's a couple of science channels that get you to watch, or movie, or music, or and then even the music is getting stronger and more powerful and more attractive than ever with the kind of instrument they, they create them. And uh, that always reminds me of that story that my mother used to say about this child, that child that is going to come and everybody is going to be attracted to. And uh, so we are, we, are, we, are, we are fighting against that. We are fighting against the fundamentalists that everybody says my religion is best. And if you say something any different than that, we might not listen to you. You know, we are, we are fighting against, you know, a, a lot of things to bring humanity to, to see what we are saying. So, so you guys are very, very special people that you want even to be here and hear about God and, and this revelation. But we have to do our best, you know. We have, the, the, the thing is, don't give up. We can't give up. That, that is don't, that's the first thing I said when I started the mission. Don't give up and don't suicide. That two things is no no in the mission. Okay, you can't give up. Okay. And uh, probably anybody who was in my place would have given a long time ago. <laughs> you know, being at it for twenty some years and and it's amazing that everybody talks about my trail. You, you 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 just go to the website and I know and, and type my trail. Is they're building a statue of Maitreya in uh, India, where the Buddha they believe that was enlightened at 20 or or 100 something feet big a statue of Maitreya. Benjamin Krem comes and and spread the the message that Maitreya is going to come. You know there are many people they call themselves Maitreya. Okay, so the name Maitreya and the mission of him as coming of him and all those things has been, you know, given to humanity for the last, you know, uh, 20 or 30 years. So the whole energy is there to, to promote the idea. But nobody is looking at us. Everybody goes toward the, that's the bleeding, that's the statue. Okay, or Lord Maitreya, this lady, uh, you know, channels Maitreya. But they don't want the real thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Humanity wants anything is not absolutely that real thing, they go for it. Mm -hmm. But then you come and say, this is the real thing, they say, oh, oh no, it's too much for us. We don't, we don't want the real thing. We don't really want Christ come. We don't really want to see him here. But as far as he's, he's over there, we're thinking about he's going to come. Oh, that's great. <laughs> we accept him and we, we want him. So it's uh, it's okay. Eventually, mission will, uh, you know, affect humanity, and people will become, you know, attracted to it. But right now, they're attracted to everything else, but the unification of our religions, you know, and the kingdom of heaven and earth comes of light, and the creation of hierarchy on earth. But that is what the mission is all about. Did God did this and? They didn't tell me, just don't worry about it, just go and give some satsang and, and meditate and you're going to be happy and, and all that. She said, no, we have to create the communist of life. We have to base the whole kingdom of heaven on earth on this idea. So we have to work on that revelation that God gave it, gave it to us. Okay. We can't just you know, have fun and, 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 and say, Beautiful sad song and say, okay, that was good. My church or my weeks, you know, my week gathering, and then go back. we have to be at at it. We have to be at the top of it. We have to see what kind of the vision God gave us. He gave us the vision of the creation of the communities of blood based on the eternal divine path, which is the base of the kingdom of heaven on earth. So we we can see that uh, unless we can do better. Or we can do something, we are not doing it. Okay. I, uh, am I doing something that you guys think I should do better or more? Or are you guys doing something that you should be doing more? Let's look at it. Let's analyze ourselves, our actions, our life. Let's look at it to see what am I doing that I'm not 
supposed to, or what am I doing that I should suppose to do something else? You tell me, am I doing something I should do more? I'm, I'm open to be analyzed. Um, I was seeing something that with us in our areas, with having the centers, um, possibly we need to reach out more to humanity in our, the community in our own areas. Uh, possibly when we put an ad in a magazine um, about the mission and going to the website, we could also put local, um, our local contact numbers in each state, like the different ones in the state with the ad. Um, to, to call the numbers um, and that we would offer um, certain things like um, meditation workshops or different things like that to, to draw people to our centers, make them real centers. I think this is what I meant to say. I know we have our homes open, but to those of us who feel comfortable with having people come into our homes, offer something up to them. Absolutely, you, you actually you can start some yoga classes. That is what uh, in the organization, in the Ananda Marga where I was, we, we used to offer yoga classes, especially in the universities and, and in the areas that uh, a lot of young people you know, are, were, or in a you know, uh, YMCA or many different centers. And then while we were doing teaching yoga, of course, we would say, we, are, we represent Ananda Marga, but we teach yoga, and then of course they were interested in what Ananda Marga has to say. The same thing, you can go as the mission of Maitreya, uh, I'm in the mission of Maitreya, but I teach yoga, people are going to ask you, okay, what the mission is, says, then you can, you know, in the, you're, you're, you're going to teach yoga, but actually you're teaching the mission, and a lot of people in that, you know, classes are going to get attracted to, to our teaching. So you're absolutely right, you know, one of the things everybody, you know, doing, we can start a yoga class, a yoga, you know, teaching, or a Bible reading, or a Do reading, or um, what else? You can may do many things according to your aptitude and, and interest and, and attract the people in your area. I'm not sure if I heard Shakti say something along this line or not, but Shakti, did you say that when you put those ads in the paper, you can put in the names of the contact people? Are you talking about just putting in the ad for, for instance, if you put an ad in North Florida, you just say your name and your contact point? Or were you talking about also adding Tahara and Emma into your ad? Because somebody that picks up that magazine might be from South Florida or someplace else. So maybe that would be an opportunity to put in the contact people in each <laughs> ad. Put in an ad. Um, include everyone in that state, in that particular area, such as when Tahara puts in her ad, she could put local, con local contacts for the state also. Uh, that uh, Emma and her and I off, off, offer things in the different areas where someone may live um, in each area. Oh, yes. And when we put an ad in a newspaper um, uh, giving information about Mission of Maitreya and putting the website and phone number, we can include our own various centers in the area, like uh, catching two birds with one stone, so to speak. Oh, yes. Well, even we can go farther and put the, even contact in other states and countries. Who knows, especially Florida, which is a tourist <laughs> state, you know, a lot of people come from, you know, Canada. You know, if, you know, they pick up something there and they know something's in Quebec, they might say, okay, I'll check that out when I went to Quebec. And check with the, you know, Radha, you know, what she's doing. And uh, so that's a very good suggestion. So when you, you put an ad, if you have a, uh, space and, and uh, resources, put as many contact as you can.
or just start something, anything, something that attracts people to come and, and see you. First of all, you have some activity, which is it's very fulfilling, right? I'll, 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 you know, when I start the yoga class in Ananda Marga, it, it was the best time of my week. Okay, I used to go there and, and enjoy it immensely. So you will, you, all of you have to start something. Don't, don't think you cannot do it, I'm busy, I have too much work, I have all this thing to do. Don't think like that at all. Start something and you after a while you see, you're not busy, you have more energy, you have more, you know, you know, things, you know, get things done more efficiently and you will attract other people at the same time. Matreya, when uh, Tahara may come come up to here sometime to um, retreat up here in North Florida, and I asked her, I said, Tahara, you know yoga so well. Um, teach me yoga. When you come here, let's do yoga together. So uh, um, Tahara has a wonderful background on yoga and a wonderful energy for the that, that's, that, that's wonderful, you know, sure. If, uh, actually, if you guys, anybody wants to start teaching yoga, we have some courses here that has been created six weeks. Six weeks, is it four weeks or six weeks? Meditation. Is it meditation? Well, it's four weeks now, but we're supposed to make it into six weeks. To put yeah, it we on have the four weeks courses for meditation, meditation or yoga. It's not yoga. It's not yoga. Okay, it's meditation, it's four weeks. That can be as straight to six weeks. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. And if, if you want to teach yoga, we have a yoga manual here that we can uh, digitize them and to send them to everyone who wants to teach yoga, they can use it. It's a fantastic book. It has a lot of beautiful information and it is really, um, it's one of the best yoga books I've seen. Uh, we can send them to you and you can use them to, to start some yoga classes and do it yourself at the same time. It's very beneficial. Yoga is the inner size. Of course, you have to exercise, run, climb, ski, whatever you, you do for the ex external body. And the inner side is the yoga, which uh, works on your chakras and uh, uh, strengthen your uh, spiritual part. And, uh, and if you want to start some yoga classes, just let us know. We can send those books to you or give you some information in it that you can use for your classes. Could add, start classes, teach uh, the mission. Let everybody knows who you are. Okay, don't hide it. Okay, just let everybody knows that you are in the mission of Maitreya, and that's what you do. And just like a, just like a real estate person, a real estate person, let everybody knows he's in real estate. So if people are going to come to you and say, okay, I want to buy a house, can you help me? Tell them, you are in a mission of Maitreya, after a while they want to know about more about the spirituality, then you are, you are in a spiritual person, they come to you, how about this? And then you say, yeah, I know about that, how about Buddhism, I know about that, how about Islam, I know about that, how about Christianity, I know about that, and you can help them out. So it let them reach out, let everybody know who you are. The more we get involved with the mission, the more we get involved with doing it, the less we're going to think about ourselves and our problems going to just 99% of them going to go away. You agree with me, Ma, huh? Oh, sure. <laughs>
I don't want to be too talkative today. Please excuse me. Um, but when you mentioned doing um, service for the mission, how it can uh, make us uh, do more for the mission, I, when I was there talking to the graphic artist about the t-shirts, it felt good working with someone and talking a, a, about this and seeing the design form. And, and when I left there, I felt joy. I felt an upliftment that I don't usually feel. So it was good. It's like I want more. I wish that the session had lasted longer with her. It was, it was fun. Do you want more of that up upliftment? To do more. I do agree, Matreya. <laughs> I do agree. I know, I know what you mean. A lot of, a lot of times we don't want to do it, we don't want to do it, but after we are pushed doing it, we say, wow, that was great. I felt so good. I've never been, I never felt so good before. That, that's been, you know, you want to do more. Okay, well, I probably should ask this question that um, if everybody agrees once a month or there's any objection to it. Okay, apparently there's no objection, so the decision carries, huh? That's what they say. Yes, yes, uh, Ishvara, go ahead. Uh, rather, me uh, just discussed about that uh, during our uh, French conference, and we think that it, it would be good if we continue to see to meet together uh, once a week, uh, because it's very useful for uh, for us and. Uh, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We have an objection to the decision. Okay. Rado and uh, Ishwara wants to have it every week. Can you can you repeat? We are hearing you in a very low level. Go ahead and and we keep all quiet here and listen to you again. Yes, we are, that is what the discussion was about, uh, that we feel that uh, uh, probably it's a good idea um, to change it from every week to once a month, because mostly we come here and we meditate together and we discuss the business 
and the energy sound like it's not there as it was in the beginning. So we suggested to have it a month, uh, month, month at least for this summer until September. And in September we reevaluate the situation and see if we can, uh, we want to go back to every week or what. Uh, apparently some people agreed with it and uh, Ishwara and uh, Radha once every week. So that's where we are at. I thought he meant that he and Radha have agreed yeah, to meet I, on the French. I would like to have it every week also, but it's, um, it, it's up to everyone else um, because it, just, it inspires me and um, it just keeps me in focus to, to have it every week. But like I said, it's not my decision. Uh, okay, uh, uh, there is a there is a um, mis there is a discussion here in the mission right now, uh, Ishwara. Did you mean that you want every week this sad song, or you meant you and Radha are gonna meet in French every week? Radha, can you clarify that for us? Yes, Ms. Leah, it's um, in the French conference. We want to continue the French conference each week if possible. As, as much as possible each week in the French. Because Israel and me, we are working together on the website. So we appreciate that a lot. Okay. Okay, okay. So that is different than my understanding. So. So you and Ishwara wants to do it every week in a French conference together, but you guys don't have any objection having once a month uh, with, with the mission. Yes, that's it, you're right. All right, okay. Okay, so, so all right. And Emma says the decision of the uh, group, what she do. Of course, remember, you still have the time to come together in Thursday mornings, okay, in the um, reading of though and the reminder, and probably if there is something to discuss together, you might do it there also if you want. And I am usually uh, present in those, you might not see my name, but you see a ghost there, somebody doesn't have any name there, it's just a line, Probably you figured it out, this is me, I am in a conference with you, but I don't have my name in there. I am the invisible man, okay? Just like God is present, but we don't see him, but he hears us anyway. So I am in these conferences. If you have something to ask me, you can go ahead and uh, ask me then, and we can discuss it then if, if that, that, that should take care of the problem about the business. If we have, of course, if I have a special business to do with somebody, we usually get to the conference room and discuss it with, the, with I have done it with Shvara, I may have done it with Radha, and we're doing their thing. So, so that is also, and also you have Saturdays, of course Saturday is mostly the service, you don't have any discussion in it. But uh, Thursday mornings, usually I am in the conference room with you, if you want to, you know, Call me in and you know, just say, Bajay, are you there? I have something to discuss. We can do it that way too. And also, if you have something you know to discuss with me, you can do it. You know, you can send me an email. We can set up sometimes and get together and do that also. Or we can all join um, <laughs> Rani and Shvara. And also, that is another suggestion. If uh, if. If you have something to discuss, we can join Radha and, and Ishvara in French conference <laughs> and take their time. <laughs> but that's a good idea, you know, if, if that is between you, 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 Radha and Ishvara, if you have to come together, you know, every week, that would be fine. Maitreya, uh, of course, we would be happy if someone knew Come and jump us. Well, I might do that sometime, actually. <laughs> of course, and uh, then we will change uh, language. We will speak English. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay. Um, Ishwara and 
uh, Radha, I was wondering if you could help with writing step-by-step um, -step instructions, how someone who um, doesn't know about how to connect to a voice conference, how they can connect, you know, do they need to download, download certain software and, you know, kind of number one, number two, number three, number four kind of thing. Uh, yes, sure. I can try to do something and uh, I will send it to you and maybe you can try to follow the instruction and see if it is uh, okay. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Okay, so I like the decision is made that you're going to have a month month. Uh, I, I was wrong. I thought there was an objection from Ishwara and Radha. Um, and so the majority agree that month a month we go ahead with that. And um, maybe, you know, if we decided we can make it maybe two, two times a month, you know, and uh, one time we come here just to discuss the uh, activities, business, and all that. And, uh, and the, the first of the month, it's going to be open, uh, sad song to everyone. They can come and join new people, and old people, anybody wants to be here, they're welcome. And they can come ask questions and, and we're going to continue uh, explain the great sign. If the number increased and the demand went up, of course, I'm always here. I'm willing and able, uh, hopefully, that uh, we can go ahead and increase the number as the number. Ooh. Who knows? Maybe one day we're gonna have every day. You know, if it's if it if the demand is there. But I think at this time the demand is not there. The summer is coming, and uh, and I feel that uh, probably it's good to cool it down a little bit, and we decide in September what to do. So that is the final decision. Sounds like the consensus is this to this point. And of course, if uh, you have something to say again in, uh, in Thursdays, most of the time I am there with you. I'm, I'm listening to the, you know, to the though you guys reading. It's beautiful. It's really uplifting. And uh, but if you need to come in and discuss something, or send me email if you want to discuss something with me in, in conference, we get this one of the. We have so many conference rooms in, in, in the mission. We can get some of those private conference rooms and privately, something that we don't want anybody here or anything like that. We want everybody here, we can just come to the conference and discuss it. So, so I'm still here and we can still be in touch, but uh, we're going to be together only once a month. When is the next time you're going to be together? The first month. The first Saturday. So the question was, what is the next when is the next conference? It's going to be the first week of the July. It's the first week of June, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So first kind of a kind of a start. Yeah. Start to this, this month. Mm -hmm. Also, we have to change uh, all our advertisements in the website and and, and in the in the paper. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can announce that one also. Mm -hmm. In, in, in it, there sounds like another news that is coming up soon. And also internet. And in internet, so everybody knows we're going to be only at the first week, the first Saturday every month.
open my eyes just in time. Huh? Mm -hmm. It's uh, almost 12 o'clock. We have around one or two more minutes left here. We're not going to be together for next month, until the next month. So this is the last two minutes we have here together. If anything you want to bring up, this is the time. Otherwise you have to keep your peace for a month. <laughs> of course that's not true. You can always email me and I'll let me know you want to talk to me. Remember, God is always with you, and remember that our revelation is the greatest ever, and our work is holy. And whatever we do, we we'll keep great fruits eventually. And all of you will have a wonderful month, a good godly month, and I'll see you next month. Thank you.